Lunch and Lens Crash Designs. Let's try this again. I've rolled this out on my thickest setting. It's some Primo black clay. I've done the Naga Hide texture on the back. And this is the whale out of this. <laughs> I put away what I had to show it on. Let's see if this works. Piece of. There we go. The whale from this um, set of stamps that I believe. I'm still not sure if they came from Booby Craft or Globeland, but. Whichever, <laughs> I'll link the video review um, in the cards or down below or something. <clears throat> now, obviously, this whale will not. Hmm. Ignore me. I'm going to use my blade and cut this pendant out because I do want that whole well. I'm gonna stand up though. Try to get a good impression. Oh yeah. really well oh it was perfect it stamped well enough that you can see it everywhere and didn't put any of the stamp lines except right there at the tail so goody goody alright now ooh what is that See that there? Get out. At least it's not white clay, right? Yeah, we'll save that for another one. Okay, now let's see. I really like to use my curved blade whenever I can. Cut off most of its lower fin, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, that's really cute. And of course, now that I stamped it, I can see the stamp lines even much more clearly. Alright, but once we put, um, this time, I'm going to opt, not this particular color, but I'm going to use some of these, some of my older, um, either metallic luster or Inca gold or something like that. If I can find the right color, I'm looking for. That's not it either. There we go.
let's I'm gonna also try some of this rose gold now these have been in the back of my drawer for 10 years I don't know how long oh wow has it never been opened or is it just that I've never taken the yeah well I no normally don't take it off but there's actually still moisture under the lid okay yeah I did have used it before same thing here uh, I'm getting kind of hopeful there all right I was all prepared to show you my ink gold trick but I'll use that on one of the next ones we're gonna do several in this video um, that's kind of a large pendant but I do know that a lot of people like them large oh. it's still waxy Okay, that was the metallic luster brick. Finger off. Oh. It doesn't want to come off. Alright, now I'm going to try this rose gold. I'm not getting anything. Okay. Okay, now this is what I was going to want to share. This is... Inca gold in the copper. This is just a spray bottle of water. Plain old water. Give it about four squirts. Then I'm going to start to massage it. Okay, now I may need to do it some more. It may be uh, thin at first. Okay, I'll just let that set a minute and I'll come back to it. Hey, the little bunny there. I really want to do him with pan pastels. Let me find them. Okay, I think this one is the neutral gray. Let's see what some of the others are. This is a Payne's Gray tint. Tint of Payne's Gray. Let's go with that.
Okay. You look. There's a bit more. Okay. We're going to go back to the ink of gold again. Okay, we'll come back at that after it's baked and uh, see if we can't solidify that a little bit, that color. Okay, that's four. I think that's probably enough. So we're going to bake these. Then after we bake them, we're going to put a layer of UV resin. Then we're going to do some embossing. And then put another layer of UV resin. They'll be really pretty. And stand out really well. I'm not going to show UV resining all of these. But I thought I would come back and share. This one. Okay, now I'm just going to fill in this star. Like it's a glass, a terrarium, aquarium kind of thing. Oh no, I should have gloves on because I hate the feel of UV resin. Okay. Really simple. But it should have the effect that I want. Okay, I'm just going to put that under my UV lamp. Now, I'll put it under there for five minutes. Okay, now, the star, we're going to use, this is a WOW embossing pen. It's got the embossing ink, but with a pen nib. I don't know how well this is going to work, because I don't know how to dry it out. My pen is, but... I'm going to give it a go.
Okay. Now that's what we're going to do on that one. On this one, we're going to put some bubbles. Bubbles. And because we've already put the UV resin on, it doesn't matter if the bubbles overlap those flowers a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the silver on this one first. If I can get to my silver. I'll be back. This is the Ranger embossing powder in the silver. Whoop. Okay. Now, the one thing you'll notice right away is that your embossing powder will stick. To the UV resin. So we just want to brush it away really carefully. Alright, now, this will not be a perfect line around there. It will be speckly and spotty, and that's the look we're going for. Okay, now, they didn't turn out the best in the world, but, <laughs> there's the whale, with the bubbles and the edging. Okay, and here's the star aquarium with the turtle and the shell. Alright, here's the fox and the bunny rabbit. Um, I'm not going to finish these. Except for maybe to make them fridge magnets. My embossing pen was not working very well. And this one, the uh, little leaf um, skipped on me. And so I had to emboss it twice. So you could even see it. Alright. And the red glitter I could not get off of the the bunny background. So, but anyway, he turned out cute. So those would probably just be fridge magnets. But anyway. I've been doing this technique for many many years and normally they turn out way better than this um, I've got some fridge magnets that 
I've been on my fridge for 12 years or better. <laughs> um, If I can call up a photo of those, I'll show you those. Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching this nightmare of a mess. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Like everybody's video you watch. Bye for now.